Chinese investigators have found one of the two black boxes belonging to the China Eastern plane that crashed on Monday. According to the lead investigator, the box was badly damaged and it's unclear at this stage if this is the box that contains the flight data or audio recordings. Meanwhile, bad weather has hampered the work of emergency crew at the crash site. Operations came to a stop this morning after officials warned that heavy rain increases the risk of landslides in the mountainous area. The wet weather is expected to continue for the rest of the week. Also today, relatives of those on board were seen arriving at the village nearest to the crash site. The plane carrying 123 passengers and nine crew was en route from Kunming to Guangzhou when it suddenly plunged from cruising altitude and crashed. China correspondent Elizabeth Law is near the crash site and sent us this update. Now we're here at the border between Guangdong and Guangxi. Uh, as you can see, it's raining very heavily, and this is exactly the same as what it is in Singapore after it's been raining for about five days. So it's wet, it's miserable. And also, uh, what we see, understand now from Chinese media is that families have been moved towards Tung County, where they are closer to the crash sites. But we don't have actually um, sight of them because authorities have in increased the cordon area and media have very, very little access uh, towards the family members and reasonably, of course, to give them space in what has happened. Um, authorities have not used the words completely perish or, or fatalities yet, but it, it is them not using the words that have actually also been very telling. Um, I suppose this is because we are still in the important 72-hour period immediately following a crash, which is why they don't want to prematurely declare anything. That's number one. But I think from what uh, we've heard from officials and also yesterday at the foreign ministry briefing, spokesman Wang Wen wore a completely black tie, which actually gives us an indication of what has happened.